so scripting part we almost completed for the like what are the scripting announcements like correlation parameterization validation point and scripting challenges so if you given if anyone given for the scripting means you need to do for the scripting properly like this so validation point must will be do and correlation what are the values it is coming from the dynamic value server side and application side you need to do for the correlation and what are the required data you are entering through keyboard so those data also you should do for the parameterization and so these are the uh, requirements you can do for the any script you can now do ready to do for the scripting so if real time also if you do any script it will be same work only you need to do for the correlation parameterization validation but thing will be different maybe here will be we have the less number of lines of code right maybe you will get for the number of lines of code maybe 10000 20000 also you will get but your job will be if it is at 20000 or 30000 or 1 lakh also your job will be you need to do for the correlation parameterization and validation so if it is a very number of lines of code means you need to take for the time will be it will take for the two to three days to you need to complete that script maybe small script you need to complete for the one day so it depends on the number of lines of code number of uh, transactions you need to do for the scripting how much time it is completed you need to decide okay so that will be team will be assigned to your work and after that you need to finish for this is the two days so based on for the script complexity you know also maybe our team will be told uh, so today end of the day you need to complete the script they will give it okay what happened maybe you need to think about that and you did but finally what happened means you are 50 or 60 percent is completed but you need to inform to the your team lead like i a morning onwards i'm working on this script but this script they're having so the number of dynamic values so is some complexity will be there that is why it is taken for time so maybe tomorrow afternoon i will finish this script so you need to inform to like this okay so going to the next thing we have the recording options and runtime settings will be there so recording options will explain so first thing will be recording so we can record the script in two modes html mode url based so when we can switch from the html to url mode means see html mode means you want to record the user actions means you need to record the html model you want to record the user actions along with the server side resource also means you need to select for the url mode like for example i will give for the application point example see for example we are doing flight booking application some different application the application every time will be same but going to the i can observe flipkart amazon any application the deals will be day to day will be the pages will be changed or not every day same page will it will show every day is the same page it will show no right no so that is a uh, means every page will be some changes will happening for the day to day maybe you are doing for the html mode so your script will be fail because you are not get for the uh, like server side resources so that is why if it is a uh, your pages is dynamically it is changing you need to switch from the html to url mode and you need to record the script in the recording options you need to select for the url mode in the url advanced we need to select for the use web custom request only okay this is the only situation based only you need to select for this url in web http html only you need to record for the if it is any there is any change no changes in that application you need to do for the html only if it is application is changing for the every page keep on then you need to use for the url mode it's clear and uh, html mode already we seen what are the options like uh, every time we have that this is the options we have like we need to keep this only a script contain explicit url and web submit data we know for the web url what is the web submit data and web submit form this everything we know okay and going to the script so these are the options so by default it will be we need to select for the these three maybe you are the join any company maybe you need to set for the your recording options yourself only so that is why this will be important generate think time greater than threshold so we need to check and uh, track process created cmo local servers you need to check 
and ask them to warn me if the application being recorded encounters an error. So these three will be mandatory things to you need to check this in the scripting part. And as same you can observe here, language it is showing C language. C you can observe yesterday we scripting challenges we observed like C if else condition we used and uh, uh, like LR output message. So this will be same like as a C right. C also we are using for the means announcement purpose we are using C language, but we are using for the our like functions on LR save string, LR evolve string, LR output, LR exit. So what are the functions we are using? But we are using for the just C, that is the symbols or syntax only we are using like if else conditions. So this type of we are using. So we need to do for the C language we have and Java also will be there. But never will go into the Java, only we can do for the C language. And this is the protocol, which protocol you are selected. So it will display for that protocol and code generation. So you can observe code generation process include. So code generation like correlation scans as asynchronization scans you want to miss, you need to select for this. Then only you are able to see the in the design studio, what are the correlation values will, will be there. You need to identify that. You need to check this too during the, uh, like when you are before recording the script and configurations. So in configurations also, we have the scan for rules, correlation supplying is there, right? If you want rules scan automatically, correlate value found. So you need to select this one, automatically what are the values will be there, automatically will found. And assume to the, we are using which function we can use, WebRex, say for MEX or RegWebRex for the autocorrelation point of, you need to select this one. And uh, so this will be every time will be same. And at the same time, you can observe replace scan calibration every time we are keeping for the HTML only. And uh, rules. So this is the rules is also important. We'll go to the script. Okay, I will close this. For example, we are done correlation. Okay. Auto correlation only right. Just I will undo that. See now we need to, this user section values coming from the every time, every release, like every time we are getting for the same boundaries. Is it? Then what you need to do means you need to create for the rule. For example, in our application, some dynamic value will be every time it is getting for the same boundaries. Then every time you can do for the scripting and recording and after that doing correlation that will be somewhat will be difficult. So what are the values not changing as a boundaries you need to do for the some create for the rule. So how to we can create the rule means first you need to identify the uh, like uh, correlation dynamic value boundaries. So we can take this in control C in the code generation control home and home industry control D and this is the boundaries right you can select this and go to the notepad one minute
హలో హలో సో వి నీడ్ టు క్రియేట్ రూల్ మీన్స్ వాట్ వి నీడ్ టు డూ మీన్స్ సో యు కెన్ గో టు ద రికార్డింగ్ ఆప్షన్స్ ఇన్ దట్ వి వాంట్ టు క్రియేట్ రూల్ మీన్స్ యు కెన్ గో టు ద రూల్స్ ఇన్ దట్ యు వాంట్ క్రియేటింగ్ ఫర్ ద న్యూ అప్లికేషన్ లైక్ యు ఆర్ గివింగ్ ఫర్ ద అప్లికేషన్ నేమ్ లైక్ వెబ్ టూర్ జస్ట్ అప్లికేషన్ నేమ్ యు ఆర్ గివింగ్ లైక్ ఓకే ఓకే and after create the application you need to create for the rule new rule you are creating so here once you can click on the new rule and you need to give for the section value which value you are doing you need to give for that name as a section value so here you can come to the here action you are able to see the uh, like search from the parameters in the body text or cookies or you want to select for the like headers if you want to select so i am selecting for the search for the parameter in the body text and here scan type we have the different type will be there like regular expression will be there and boundary based will be there x path and json query also will be there so you can select anything is fine but i now i am selecting for the boundaries and now you need to give for the left boundary right boundary like you can go to here and take for this left boundary okay give and right boundary you can take the right boundary place for the right boundary place and uh, you can give for the slash 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 also you can give because load runner doesn't know for the double columns through what are the coming from the script only you need to give okay see you we are uh, like created rule as a section value then if you want for the parameter uh, like uh, in match cases or if it is a uh, sometimes what will happen means the boundary is also changing maybe is uh, some 1 2 3 4 is there next time will be 5 6 7 it is coming boundary is also so not dynamic value boundary is i am telling maybe is a boundary is changing that is a digit changing means in that place you need to use for the as symbol then what will happen means if it is in this place if it changing for the any day, digit value automatically it will change and i am same to be how the advance also will be there advance nothing but offset length so this all also we want means we need to assign this all okay so uh, like this we need to create a rule and after create their rule right you can click on import option will be there export option will be there for example i done this one so for example you are recording for the different script but you want to use for this rule means i want to import export option also will be there if you want import means you can import export means export import nothing but you can click on import then you can observe so already it will be there in this uh, okay any file like see user section already see you are already previous i created user core so if you want import means click on open means automatically it will imported here maybe you want to export this one means you want to save this one means select all and click on export and you can keep uh, somewhere you can save it uh, desktop only okay i'm saving for the section value normally if you want to import uh, where it will uh, store that particular rule in recording option only it will store see uh i will show that also okay session underscore cor i am giving and you can observe when i am saving this it will be correlation file dot cor it is extension is dot cor it is saving you can click on save it is saved see for example i want import uh, for this into the okay here only we can import okay you can click on this and uh, click on import and you can select for the user core and click on open and you can now you can come here and here automatically it will import for the this one user section i think you need to uncheck what are the remaining applications so you can now import so user core
think someone will automatically score. You can observe, you can click on this. What are the values also it is showing? It will show us see. These all will be there in that. Yeah, understood. But uh, if sometimes we don't know uh, to import the particular rule, but where it is stored, we don't know. Yeah, okay. here so only it will store is... actually. Okay. Um, it is not. Click on import and uh, here in person it is stored in desktop. Other you can do one thing, click on new and for here now we can import for the application one right. Click on to create a new rule. And this will be the moment. See, now you can observe I deleted, but again I imported. See, you can observe I will delete this. So, for in this web tour, we don't have any file. Now I want to import means click on this and user section code. Now we will see the file. Got it? Hello? Yes. So you need to select only one for one application. Which one you want, you can select that only. Then only it is uploaded, imported. So if you want for this file export means you can click on export. If you want to send to the, your colleague or your friend or anyone. So you can send them. They have also imported and they will apply this rule then automatically this rule will be applicable. So for now example, we will try to do with that. And click on this, I think auto generate, it is happened to, it is done or not, we need to check. Better to record time only when you are trying to record, right? Recording time, you need to check this, this and this. So which rule you want, you can select this, you can check this and you can try to record it. And after recording is completed, automatically correlation will be happen here with what is the rule you are created. So this is not a auto correlation. We are creating as a manual rule only. That is, we can call it as a manual rule. Like, see, for example, every time user section value we, we are getting. So that is every time you want to do means that is the sum uh, our manual effort will be more. So that is why what you are doing, you are creating one rule and you are applying to the, when you are recording the script, automatically you are applying. So automatically the correlation will be happen. So no need to do for the manually again. Got it? So that is the rules section. And uh, now we have the advanced. In advance, see if you want generate for the web break find function, you need to check this one. So this is the mandatory thing. Every time you need to keep this because 
without validation you are done for scripting also that is a invalid script because you are each and every page you are getting a valid response or not we don't know so exactly you want no means you need to definitely give for the generate web break find function so this will be like if you want generate for the headers or anything means you can generate web add cookies means you can give this one okay and every time is no need sometimes what will happen means headers also you need because of that also sometimes your script will be failed so maybe your company they are using for the with the headers they are recording means you can select for the record headers in list what are the record headers will be there if you want means you can select all and what are you selected automatically those will be displayed you can select all and but but uh, by default which will be it is better yeah by default will be actually with the headers only better because what will happen means when you we are not recorded headers sometimes what will happen means you are getting for the 500 error so yesterday only one of our mm. student only is working on infosys he got for the 500 error okay mm -hmm. uh, maybe thinking about application issue but he checked for the like application side okay his so application side is getting for the 200 response means is getting for the successful response and receive request and response is getting means that okay. is not application side issue then he checked for the like any correlation i missed for the above request he checked that one okay above request there is no dynamic values also will be there finally he approached me i am getting for the this error so means you are getting that error means the issue will be your header file is missing for a particular request. So how to you can do for means you can click on which request it is failing. You can click on that, click and show snapshot. And uh, after that, we need to click on split and you need to compare for the like uh, headers. You can click on headers. See headers. So already it is a uh, headers will be there. So this will be response headers. So you need to compare this requested response header. This is the requested response headers. This is the response headers. So you need to compare this two. And you need to identify that if anything is missing. So you need to write that in the top of the where request is failing. For example, here failing some header so you need to write for there so i given that uh, address to him and uh, he came same he compared and uh, one of the header file is missed so he placed here and he executed and his script is fine got it okay so that is the type of errors will be get so and that is why um, so if you not to see, you can observe, we are not given any headers also. You can observe here in snapshot view, you are automatically getting some header files. If you not given also no problem. In request side, you are getting some and response style also you are getting. So you can observe here, these all will be header files only. Content connection, keep alive, content length, accept. So these all will be header files only. And uh, where we are, yeah, not done. Right? In mapping and filter, uh, in mapping and filter, we have the three types will be there like socket level, unit level, and socket level, unit level. So, when we are going to the socket level, unit level, means if you want to record for the any web application, you need to select for the VNN, sorry, socket level option only. So, if you want to record any Windows based application, you need to select for the VNN level. And sometimes what will happen is you are recording the web application only, you are unable to recording, means some request will be missing. So you need to record for the socket level, net level, both also you can use. And we have the options also will be there. So this SSL version will be, depends on the application, they will be, okay, this is the my application uh, SSL version, they will tell. So, Based on that, you need to select for the that application which was SLA. Then only you are able to record successfully. Maybe uh, your client using TLS 1.0, but you are giving for the SSL 2 by 3. Then what will happen? Your application will be unable to record the script. 
So scripting challenges, you need to tell this type of also. When I am trying to recording the script, I am able to record the script. Because uh, I change for the, like, uh, I did for the many parameters, like uh, I change for the socket level, VNNet level, and I change for the, like, in um, Internet uh, Explorer browser uh, settings also I change, but unable to record the script. Finally, what happened means my client using for the TLS 1.0, but I am using for the SSL some two by three or something. So that is why I'm able to record the script. Again, I change for the TLS 1.0. Then I able to record my script. So you need to tell the, if anyone asks for the scripting challenges, you need to tell for this is also one of the important example. Okay. And uh, this is the no need and code generation. Okay. Just uh, this will be no need. So this will be recording options, mandatory things. Got it everyone? So going to the runtime settings. So these runtime settings, recording options, if anyone asks for any time, you want to tell for the, what is the, how many, what are there and what is the, which purpose we are using. Runtime settings and recording options. You need to, uh, well, because see, if it is a real time, we are every time we are using for this option. So that is why we know for the every time that is why mainly concentrate interview point of view or if you are doing for the work anyone means a cross coaches means they will uh, what is the option which purpose you can use runtime settings and recording options what are the recording options you can explain one by one they will ask so that is why very important for this both so run logic what is the run logic means it indicate for the number of iterations if you want to how many iterations you want to execute means you can select for the runtime and run logic and uh, same to the, if you want to create blocks also, we are completed that section, right? If you want to create means you can create for the blocks also. Insert a black and you can create for the actions. What are the actions? If you want, you can add it. And if you want how many times this particular black, you need to give for the number of iteration. So pacing. So pacing nothing but uh, delay between the iteration to iteration. Iteration nothing but complete business flow is completed. That is the one iteration completed, like launch to login, flight booking, and payment logout. So this entire business section completed up to logout. One iteration is complete. Completed. Again, started for the launch, login, launch, login, and uh, flight booking and payment, right? So again, it started for that. So means second iteration is starting. You can execute here and you are able to see the output iteration one, iteration two. So this iteration to iteration, we need to give for the some delay. We can delay between the iteration to iteration. We can call it as a pacing because why we are giving means some breathing time we are giving for the user to user. So that is the way we are giving for the some breathing. Like if you want to click on this, we have the three options. Start a new iteration as soon as previous iteration end means no pacing. There is no pacing means yeah, immediately it will execute for the one iteration completed again it immediately launch and it will execute it maybe you want for the any fixed like if we want for the wait for the 60 seconds then what will happen one iteration completed it will wait for the 60 second and after that second iteration will be start so you need to give for the some breathing point to the our application also so that is why we are giving for the pacing and we have the pacing will be no facing. We can call it as a, there is no iteration, no, there is a previous iteration and miss, there no pacing. We can call it as a fixed pacing miss. If you give for the one, how many seconds, 30 seconds or 60, you will not give, can give. And we have the random facing also will be there. Random nothing, but if you give for the random, like 60 to 90 means it will pick for the 61 to 90, up to any one it will pick 60 to 90, 61 maybe. Maybe 70 will pick. So it's a randomly to pick for that iteration and it will wait for that time. So facing, what are the we have? No facing, fixed and random facing. And logs. So logs will be in script time, you know, for the standard log, extend logs. Standard logs, nothing but it will be display for the some junk data, like what are the server side and everything it will be generated. So if you want to see for the output means you will be uh, some unable to understand that. So that is why every time you need to give for the extend lags and you need to give for the parameter substitution. In the parameter substitution, we have in the extend lags, we have three options. Parameter substitution, data written by server and uh, advanced trace. 
okay and see this is the one thing is important maybe you are doing load test you should be disable this loss you can disable means everything will be disabled during the test only we need to do that one okay that is the log and think time think time nothing but so delay between the action to action action to action nothing but see for example launch is completed in between the launch and login you want for the some delay means we need to use for the think time think time also we have the uh, no think time and replay as the thing time is what is the replay time you are recording time it is the game so you want to keep the same means you can select that one maybe we have the multiplayer means already it is a 10 will be there if you want to multiply into two means what will happen 10 into 2 20 seconds it will be there and if you want for the like any percentage ways minimum 50 to 150 means it's a percentage mode will be selected for this thing time and we have the additional attributes and miscellaneous miscellaneous nothing but see error handling if you want continue an error means what will happen your script will be if it is fail somewhere also your script will till end it will execute it like log out up to it will execute it if somewhere see for example so the section only it is failing but when you are check this what will happen means your script will be till log out will be executed and if you want to some message means you can use for the LR error message. And if you want generate for the snapshot also, well, during the test, if you want generate for the snapshot error means through by seeing the snapshot, which error you want means you can select this. And miscellaneous, this is the important point, run user thread and run user process. So what is the run user thread means? For all web-based application, we are using for the run user thread. All Windows-based application, we can use for the run user process and browser emulation you need to select for the which browser you want you can select like google chrome or mozilla firefox you can select for the browser and uh, network speed emulation so we are giving for the use maximum bandwidth means our network how much it will be capable you need to use that much we are giving otherwise if you want anything uh, percentage mode or if you want fix some bandwidth means you can select this And we have the content check. So we'll uh, do for that tomorrow. Again, we'll check for this uh, runtime settings and we'll go into the tomorrow nurse controller. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, okay. Good. Okay, thank you for joining. We'll meet for tomorrow. Do we have some doubts? You can call, connect again, okay? Our call will be disconnect. Okay, you can connect again. I will be there.